Hey guys, it's Jen Coyle from HelloBrio.com. In this video in the brush lettering series, I'm going to show you how to assemble basic strokes into letters. This video is taking the basic stroke, the oval form, and then transitioning it into all these letters that you see here. So let's start with the A. The A is an oval combined with a curve under. So you have your oval and then you have your curve under. So if you combine these two, you get the oval and the curve unders to make that A. So you have your, again, your oval and then your curve under. You'll notice that when I'm completing all these letters, all the downward strokes are heavy pressure and they also follow that same calligraphy angle that we have back here. Again, if you want to learn how to make your own calligraphy guide, I have a video for that. Now we'll move on to the C. The C is actually an open oval. So what you do for the C is start at the one o'clock, move your pen around the light, transition to heavy, and then just open it up last minute so you have that beautiful open C. Make sure to bring your tail all the way up to that X height line. I'm going to skip the D for now and show you this, the E because it's very similar to the C. So what you have for the E is the same as the C, but instead of starting with the loop of the E, you actually add that on last. So again, you have your open oval shape and then you complete the E. Now we'll move on to the D. The D is very similar to the A in that it's made up of your oval. And then you use a longer curve under with a smooth downward stroke that transitions into an upstroke. So if we put these together, we have the oval and then your downward stroke for the D. All together, it looks like this. Now for the G is very similar as well. You have your oval shape and then you have your descender loop. So these are both basic shapes and you just assemble them to create one letter. So if we put these together, we have the oval for the G and then we have the descender loop brings it all the way back up to the X line. You'll notice that when I'm drawing these anatomy shapes, they're not really overlapping each other. They're just barely touching so that you have two separate shapes, but when you draw them together, they look like one coherent letter. So again, we have our oval for our G, and then we have our descender loop here. Good. Next we have the O, which is simply the oval shape. And then a very small ear. So this ear is actually a very tiny curve under. So if we assemble these together, we have our oval shape and then a very small curve under right here. All together it looks like this. And that's our O. Next we have our Q, which is similar to the G. So you have your oval and then you have your downward stroke that curves to the other side. And then you have your light upward stroke for the tail. So if you assemble these together, it looks like this. You'll notice that when I'm drawing these letters, I pick up my pen for each piece of the anatomy. So that's it for these letters. Make sure to check out the other videos to see how other letters are assembled using basic strokes. For more information on brush lettering, including materials and drills and printable worksheets, make sure to check out my ebook, Getting Started with Brush Lettering, and I'll have that link in the description below.